Yeah, welcome to Austrian Stocks in English, presented by Palfinger, the English-spoken weekly summary for the Austrian stock market, positioned every Sunday in the mostly German-language podcast, Audiosity AT, in the podcast. Wiener Börse, Sport, Musik und mehr. My name is Christian, I'm the host of this podcast, and later on I will be joined by the absolutely smart Alison. Our script is based on our 21st Austria Weekly, And in week four, we again saw a strong ATXTR, which went 2.28% up to 7,116 points, the highest level since 11 months. Best performers were Erhi Magnesita and EVN. The winner of the 14th stock market tournament was Erste Group. News came from Pira Mobility, S-Immo, Immofinanz, Andritz, Wolfgang, Gropius, Rosenbauer, OBM, Paul, Fabersoft, Zumtobel, again Immofinanz and Austria Card. And these news are spoken now by the absolutely smart. Thank you, Christian, for calling me absolutely smart. And these were the news of week four. Monday, Pure Mobility AG. Pira Mobility AG crossed a significant milestone with its leading premium motorcycle brand KTM in India. The one millionth motorcycle. A KTM Adventure 390 has rolled off the production line at Bajaj's Chakin plant in Pune. This Bajaj Auto Limited plant has been co developing and manufacturing KTM 125cc to 390cc and Husqvarna 125cc to 401cc motorcycles for global distribution since 2011. Stefan Pirer, CEO of Pira Mobility AG, This is indeed a momentous occasion for both Pira Mobility and Bajaj Auto. Our success is based on four pillars, globalization, constant innovation, motivated employees and established brands. As Europe's leading manufacturer of powered two-wheelers, we have the right partner in Bajaj with the same passion to deliver such successful services together. This gives us confidence for the future. Rajiv Bajaj, managing director and CEO of Bajaj Auto Limited says, when we inked our partnership in 2007, We set ourselves the goal of developing innovations as strategic partners to make KTM's brands known worldwide. One million has been achieved, there are many more to go. SMO, Imofinance, Imofinance and SMO have signed a framework agreement which establishes a joint process to review further alignment, coordination, merger or other forms of integration across the two groups. CPI Property Group, CPIPG, will participate in the project as a supporting shareholder. The ultimate objective is to identify synergies and efficiencies that will improve transparency and profitability for all stakeholders. The real estate companies informed, Tuesday Andritz, International Technology Group Andritz has entered into a strategic partnership with MISC to develop carbon capture equipment for the maritime industry. The Memorandum of Understanding, MU, was signed in an official ceremony on January 18, 2023. MISC's collaboration with Andritz demonstrates its commitment to providing carbon capture solutions to the maritime industry. We are both global leaders in our respective industries, and this strategic partnership opens up new opportunities to develop solutions in the carbon capture and storage value chain, says Captain Rajalingam Subramaniam, MISC President and Group Chief Executive Officer, Wolf Tank, Wolf Tank Group, specialized in technologies for energy and environmental solutions has been selected as an operational industrial partner for a joint consortium by TPER, the public transport provider in the Italian region of Emilia-Romagna, following a public tender. The new consortium has just been established and will be responsible for integrated hydrogen refueling systems for buses to be installed by 2026. Among others, this will implement the renewal of Bologna's public transport fleet with 127 zero-emission vehicles. Bologna is one of the 100 European cities aiming to achieve climate neutrality by 2030 as part of the EU Commission's mission. Grapius, Vinovi SE, a German residential real estate firm, is investing in Austrian-based prop tech Grapius AG. Vinovia has become the lead investor in Grapius's current Series B financing round. The current financing for the Austrian prop tech is at around 100 million euros, bringing the total funding to more than 200 million euros until date. Rosenbauer, Rosenbauer Group, 
manufacturer of systems for firefighting and disaster protection, has to partially revise its guidance for 2022. The executive board expects a negative EBIT margin of minus 1%, previously, positive EBIT, for the financial year with revenues of about 1 billion euros. Reasons for this are the ongoing supply chain disruptions and in part massive material price increases which have had a negative effect on vehicle production in Europe and North America. The EBIT margin also includes the already announced non-recurring effects, Intershout's trade fair, restructuring costs. Due to the lack of access, the Russian joint venture will be deconsolidated from the 2022 annual accounts with an effective approximately euros minus 6 million on the financial result. Wednesday UBM, real estate developer UBM plans to repay the outstanding 52.9 million euros of the hybrid bond 2018, a deeply subordinated bond, prematurely after five years on March 1, 2023. A total of 47.1 million euros from the 100MN hybrid bond 2018 was repurchased in June 2021. The premature repayment of this financing instrument will reduce UBM's future annual interest costs by a further 2.9 million euros. UBM's future issues will continue to concentrate on green financing. Power. The Lower Saxony State Authority for Road Construction and Transport has awarded the tender for the first major section of the Sudsknellweg Expressway modernization to the bitter consortium of Parstamp Frankie Spezi Altif Bahagadorn. The contract is worth around 400 million euros. Thursday Fabisoft, the Austrian-based software company commits to the Paris Climate Agreement by reducing CO2 emissions by at least 42% by 2030 as part of the science-based targets initiative, SBT. Fabisoft sets a bold near-term target, pledging to decrease its direct, scope 1, and indirect CO2 emissions from purchased energy, scope 2, by at least 42% by 2030, as compared to the base year 2021. In addition, the company aims to reduce its indirect scope 3 emissions through the sustainable design of supply chains and employee commutes. We are convinced that it is our responsibility to actively address global warming and contribute to achieving the Paris climate targets. The review by the Science-Based Targets Initiative also ensures that the measures we set correspond to scientific findings, emphasizes Nibble, Ng, Helmut Faumann, founder and CEO of Fabrisoft AG, Zumdable. The technology brand Trudonic of the Zumdable Group was awarded a silver medal by the Independent Sustainability Rating of Ecovadis for the first time. Tradonic is among the top 25% of the more than 100,000 companies evaluated by Ecovadis worldwide. Following the first rating by Ecovadis, Tradonic is aiming for the gold medal for next year's certification. Friday Imo Finance, Austrian real estate company Imo Finance has fully repaid its 2.625% corporate bond by January 27, 2023. The repayment was funded with existing cash resources. The principal amount repaid was 187.1 million euros, which was the outstanding balance of the 2023 notes following a change of control event which resulted in the repayment of 295.7 million euros 2023 notes in April 2022. Austria Curd, Austria Curd Holdings, ACAG, an Austrian group with an international presence and one of the leading providers of secure digital technology solutions in Europe announces that it will apply for listing on the Vienna and Athens stock exchanges emerged through a cross-border transaction with its 70.79% subsidiary in form Pelicus Holdings, a company listed on the Athens stock exchange, subject to approval by the relevant competent authorities and shareholders general meetings of both companies. ACIG will absorb in form and will be listed on the Vienna and Athens stock exchanges. This process is expected to be completed by the end of March 2023. In 2021, ACAG, on a consolidated basis, had 178.0 million euros revenues and 26.8 million euros EBITDA, while in the first half of 2022 revenue reached 137.1 million euros, 69% year-on-year increase, and adjusted EBITDA 19.8 million euros, 137% year-on-year increase. And now bye-bye from Allison. And Christian, we wish you a great week. Hear you next Sunday.
presented by 